Well, hello there. Tom Green here coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's goodness is the basics of working with video in Adobe's experience design. This feature was released at Max, and now that you've had a good month to play with it, this seemed like a good time to dig into this new feature. And in this video, I'm going to strictly deal with adding video to XD. I'll get into playing with it in a subsequent video. First off, if you are thinking you can add just any old video, forget about it. There are rules. The file size should not exceed 15 megabytes. So if you've got uh, Hollywood production, forget it. You need to start thinking clip more than anything else. The video must be formatted using the MP4 video codec and AAC audio codec. And you are limited to no more than 20 unique videos in any one document. If you have 21 videos, well, you're out of luck. So let's get started. So what I have here is an XD doc, and I'm just going to zoom out to 100% so you can see what I've got. And I'm just going to drag a video in, and I'm just going to drop it in right up here. And you can see it's pretty large, so I'm just going to pop it up. And if you use the uh, shift key to maintain the aspect ratio, you can scale it down. So there we go. Now that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way of doing it is to actually add it to a container. So if I drag the video into this box or this rectangle, there it goes. And if I drag it into this square, there it goes. And if I drag it into this circle, there it goes. Now the thing you need to pay attention to here is if I double click this square, you will notice that the square is now acting as a mask. The other thing to note is that the aspect ratio of the video is maintained regardless of the type of shape you use. See, there's the aspect ratio there. And here it's got the width, but it's a little bit on the high side. There's a little bit hanging out over the top. Now, if I come over here and click on the video, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to zoom in on it so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. This little blue icon right here, this tells you it's a, it's a media element. And if you want to add it to your document assets, you just click the plus sign here, and there it is. It's now an asset. Or you can almost think of it as being a component. Now also, if I select a video, I can come over here and you notice I've got video properties. Now I've got three choices here, play on tap, so if I tap it, the video will play. I can play it automatically, which means when the artboard is loaded, it starts playing, and of course no playback, which means it just sits there and the user is going to have to do something with it. Now this little icon here actually opens up the editor. So if I open it, I get a number of choices. Here I can scrub through. I can play the video. I can loop playback if the video is able to be looped. I can turn off the audio so I can mute the audio. And this little icon here, trim, is kind of neat. What you can do is you can actually use it to trim down a video. So if I come out to the 15 second mark here, you can see I've got two, I've got an in point and an out point. So if I come along here and just say, okay, I want that, I click the plus sign and it's trimmed. Now what this does is this adds a thumbnail. And what the thumbnail is, is almost like a poster frame. And for those of you that are going to be using this little feature, just be aware it does not show up anywhere in the layers or in the document assets. This, this, this image is actually added to the first frame of the video. So if I select thumbnail and I come over here to XD video, there's my thumbnail. I'm going to select it. I'm going to import and you can see there it is, canoe trip. And if I play and rewind, there it is. And if you want to get rid of it, just click the trash can icon here. Now there's uh, something else that you can do here. If I come over to the pop down and edit playback, 
this actually pops you over to prototype mode uh, where you can add interactions and that's something I'll get into in a, a little later. So to play the video, no big deal. You just come over to your preview, click. And there you go. So there you have it, the basics of using video in XD. In the next installment, we'll look at how you can add interactivity to a video element. And I'll see you there.